Welcome to the March edition of the Swiss Campus News. I am your host, Peter. As we enter spring, more and more activities and sports were held in our school. As we know, March is a literacy month in Swiss. Let's take a look at some of the interesting activities held during this amazing season. In March, Swiss celebrates literacy months where students and all individuals focus on reading and the spread of literature. Every day from 8 a.m. to 8.15 in the Swiss courtyard, Swiss teachers and students will come and share great stories. The purpose of this activity is to help students develop their love of reading. One of the many activities in Literacy Months includes breakfast in a book, held differently for different grades, because what better way to enjoy your morning while eating and listening to somebody reading to you. MIP Spirit Week, another activity in Literacy Months, helps raise school spirit through house, grade, advisory, self, and book character days in a week. Another activity in Literacy Months is Before School, Book Tents, and where you can get somebody to read to you or read to somebody else and spread the focus of literature. Literacy Months aims to improve English and reading abilities while having fun, because you never know what you can find out when reading. On March 15th, the kindergarten production was held in the Swiss Theater. On March 15th, the kindergarten production was held in the Swiss Theater. The production featured all the kindergarten students at Swiss. They dressed up as various professions, such as firefighters, doctors, drivers, and more. The students danced and sang to fun music related to their professions while explaining them. The production was directed by Miss Charlotte, who helped the children prepare all along the way. The parents came to enjoy the show and support the performers. Overall, the production was a great success. Congratulations to all the students for a great performance. The annual PYP Sports Day commenced on the morning of March 15th. It was a day filled with physical exercise and fun. The students in the PYP participated in a variety of, of athletic events all around the Swiss campus. The activities include official sports such as shot put and hurdles, and also student-friendly games like tag and tug of war. The students proudly represented their class by wearing the respective colors red, blue, yellow, or green. Teachers and parents all came to enthusiastically support and participate with the students as well. At the end of the day, the event was a great success as the students could all agree that they had a lot of fun and exercise. The Mini Olympics took place on Saturday, March 24th. Volunteers from grade 6 to grade 11 organized different competitions for students to participate. Mini Olympics took place on the 24th of March from 8 p.m. to 1 p.m. on Swiss Field. Volunteers organized various activities while contestants from primary school took part in the activities in groups. Rotating around the activities, primary participants has to play 230 RMB for the chance to enter the competition. After every group finished their activities, the students participated in a giant tug-of-war competition. Food and drinks were also sold around the fields. The event was organized by Captivating International in order to raise money to help people in China, Nepal and Kenya. Overall, the event was very successful, raising a lot of money. We hope this event happens again next year. How to get involved in our community? From March 26 to 30th, our student council held the MYP Spirit Week to celebrate our school spirit, which included a lot of interesting activities. From March 26th to the 30th, Swiss MYP students participated in Spirit Week. This event was held by the MYP Student Council. Students worked in groups as a house, grade, class, and advisory to dress up in whatever themed clothing was chosen for the day. On the first day, students dressed up in their house color and played dodgeball as a house. All four teams were competitive, and the game was exciting. On the final two days of Spirit Week, students dressed how they represent themselves and their favorite book character. It was a great way to end Swiss Literacy Month and show spirit. The first ever Swiss Youth event was hosted 
on March 24th. Students from Swiss invited speakers to give inspiring speeches. Many of the secondary students, including myself, is involved in organizing the event and turning the activity into one of the Swiss traditions. On the 24th of March, Swiss hosted its first ever Swiss youth event based on the famous TED Talks. Students of Swiss youth event invited speakers from all over the world to give inspirational speeches based on their lives and careers under the theme and idea of uniques within common. This event attracts a big crowd despite it being the first year Swiss hosted the event. Fortunately, the Swiss Youth Event Supervisor, Mr. Club Prasad, has informed us that this event will officially become a tradition at Swiss. The Swiss Talent Show was held by the Tianzhou ASA on March the 23rd. It is an event aimed to raise funds for a service activity. Let's take a look at some other performances. The Swiss Talent Event was an event held by the Tianzhou School Building ASA. They announced that all the money raised by the tickets from the talent show will be used in building schools and helping kids in Tianzhou to achieve higher education. Students from grade 6 to 11 brought a fantastic performance. These include a guitar performance, piano, piano performance, and a Bujian performance. The experience brought us an awesome experience and evening. March is a great season for sports. Let's jump into the sport report of this month. The middle school volleyball season came to an end this month. Two matches were held at Swiss at the beginning of the month. On March 15, the teams competed and dominated in a SISAC tournament. Two days later, the boys team won first place at a PRC tournament, while the girls won third place. It was a sweet conclusion to the season. The entire school track and field team, both primary and secondary, traveled to GOS on March 16, Friday, to compete in the track and field competition. A number of traditional athletic track and field events were held. Once again, Swiss performed extremely well, winning first place in the under-19 boys division, under-14 girls division, and under-11 boys division. The high school football teams began playing in matches this month. They have competed against a number of other schools, including QSI, SIS, ISNS, and RDF. The teams also competed in the PRC tournament on March 17th. Overall, the teams have done pretty well in their competition. Both the boys and girls have been able to grasp a few victories. After months of training, the small yet powerful high school badminton team participated in two PRC tournaments in March. Only two participants attended the tournament on March 24, but they were able to play very well and represent Swiss. The middle school basketball teams have been training hard, and they started even before the middle school volleyball season ended. Their training efforts were observable in their game at the end of month against Basis, where the boys won while the girls lost only by a few points. Thank you very much for supporting the Campus TV. Stay tuned for the next edition of Campus News.